sorry and welcome back to my channel so as you know we're in the middle of a pandemic right now well not really in the middle we're kind of on the tail end but you know what i mean and many travel restrictions have been put in place i was supposed to go to portugal last week but unfortunately it was cancelled i'm very sad so to replace that gaping black hole in my heart I'm gonna recreate the holiday that I should have had. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change into my summer holiday clothes. If we go over here, we get to the summery things. Here are my various um, gap year trousers as I like to call them, mainly because they look like something you'd wear to go find yourself in India. But here we have the play suits, which is what I only wear on holiday. These I sometimes wear because they're very comfy. But here's the good stuff. So I've decided to go with this play suit. It's this blue one with a bunch of flowers on it. I think it's nice. Ignore the really thick bra strap. It's comfy, don't judge me. I have not worn this for about a year now. So this is very exciting. I'm just excited being in this. I feel like I go in panic after just saying gracias to a waiter. I ordered one thing when in Spanish when I was in Spain last year. I said, Me gustaría una pizza margarita, por favor. Learned that's grammatically incorrect. Quisiera? Is that the objective? I don't know. I'll do a spin. I'm asserting my dominance over this is this is first position. What am I doing? Brat no, this is first. Is this first? I literally cannot remember ballet stuff. So now that we have done the play suit, we're gonna add something else to the outfit that will make it complete. I'm so, so pale. pale. Usually I like to use the Super Dark Own brand because it's cruelty free, but this is the only one we had because we didn't buy any new sun cream for holiday because you know. It was cancelled. But here we have some Garnier SPF 50 plus, very high protection. Now, non greasy water resistance, advanced UVA and UVB protection. It only has like three of those star things, which I'm pretty sure indicates how good it is. So that confuses me. Like, I've seen ones that are like 30 that have got all of the stars, and some of them also got 50 but have got all five of the stars. I don't understand. Yeah, supposedly 50 does like nothing better, but I feel like it does. So the placebo effect. Mm -hmm. And because I'm so bloody pale, I don't tan, so I don't even try going in the sun for a long amount of time. Put it always on my face, because I burn on my face, my neck, I burn here so much. So that's where I mainly need to put it. God, I look like such a British tourist. For years when I went to the pool and holiday, I'd have to wear a t-shirt on um, top of my swimming costume because of how badly my shoulders burn. You yeah, one year when I was in Orlando, um, I burnt myself so much here that my skin started to peel. It was disgusting. So wear sun cream or a t-shirt in the fall. I'm not going to sun cream my whole body because there's no need and that's a waste of sun cream. So I'm just gonna stick with this. All but gather. Now my fingers are greasy. But as I said before, I was supposed to be going to Portugal, the Algarve to be more specific, because I'm a British tourist. We only go to the Algarve, of course. So I thought to not be your typical British tourist, I'm going to learn some of the local language, AKA European Portuguese. I always hate it. Um, when I go abroad and I don't speak the language, I feel so guilty. But then like, I'm really awkward when I try to speak the language and then I feel bad. I feel, oh. It's a vicious cycle. But we're going to learn some basic Portuguese phrases. Hola is hello. Tudo bem is how are you? And goodbye is adios. Ad adios. Bom dia is good morning. Boa tarde is good afternoon. And boa noite. Boa noite. Boa noite. Good night. Disculpe. Pardon me or sorry. Disculpe. Disculpe. Sorry, that was very Spanish of me. Por favor. Of course. Por favor. Por favor. De nada. You're welcome. I'm pronouncing this all very Spanish like. De nada. De nada, but I can't get the accent. Con licencia. Is excuse me. Con licencia. Con licencia. Obrigada. I know it's the, it's the, thank you. Where does this bus go? Este autocarro vai para onde? I'm not getting the sh, the este. Este autocar vai para onde? Pequeno almoço is breakfast. Pequeno almoço. Pequeno almoço. Where is the bathroom? Onde fica a casa de banho? Onde fica a casa de banho? Onde fica a casa de banho? I'm just looking for sex. Estou só a ver. Obrigada. Estou só a ver. Obrigada. Estou só a ver, obrigada. Fala inglês. Do you speak English? Sorry, I don't speak Portuguese. Desculpe, não falo português. I don't understand. Não entendo. Could you say that again? 
Or they dizer outra vez. That was fun. Another thing we need to do to get in the Portuguese mood is put some Portuguese music on. I don't know what traditional Portuguese music sounds like. I only know Eurovision. We're gonna put on Portugal's only Eurovision winning song, Amar Pelos Dois, which was by Salvador Sobral. He won in 2017. I think it's like the highest point points some of them are gone. Portugal! 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 We give him 12 points and that's all that matters. Portugal! Why is it on the Eurovision, the story of Fire Cyrus soundtrack? Oh yeah, because he sang it, didn't he? So you know that song is amazing, probably not traditional Portuguese music. So now I'm going to put on a YouTube video that I found to just called Fado Music from Portugal, traditional Portuguese music, two hours. <laughs> kind of slaps. <laughs> this just further proves that folk and traditional music is a great genre. It it slaps hard. So the next thing we are going to do is recreate the food of Portugal. If I'm being honest, I the only Portuguese food I could name to you are those like tart things. Are they called pastel natas? I don't know. However, when I go on holiday, all I eat is a uh, margarita pizza. I'm just bad at trying new foods because I'm a really, really picky eater. So I'm just not that interested in trying all these new foods and stuff. So not happening. So I'm gonna try and recreate my usual holiday dish. We've obtained some authentic Portuguese cuisine. I'm so sorry if you're Portuguese and watching this, I'm not offending your culture. So here we have a plastic cup, obviously. Had about six ice cubes in it. I don't usually drink cherry cola. My usual holiday drink is Fanta lemon, which is the best drink ever to exist. We have some ice cream here. This is some haagen soft caramel. Oh, it does have Portuguese on the back. Now, por outro lado, para linda individual, ver embalagem para Informação sobre alexandrinos. So the final thing I was thinking of doing was going outside, trying to recreate the weather right there is in Portugal. However, there is grey clouds and it's probably going to rain. Love you, Scotland. I love how that Gabby had on the memes. Bullies! These are high school fucking bullies! Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. It's not 18 degrees. 18 degrees my ass. I wonder what temperature is where I was supposed to be staying in Portugal. It's a wonderful 30 degrees. God, I just wish I was in Portugal. <laughs> and also just as I was about to film the outro, it started to rain. Listen. Typical. Thank you for watching this video about me being sad that my holiday was cancelled. Disclaimer also, I realise that I'm very privileged in the fact that I get um, I get to go on these holidays. I know not everyone can obviously go abroad every year and I'm very lucky in the fact I get that. So I'm not complaining the fact that my one holiday was cancelled. I'm just hoping that other people who also, you know, had things in their life that were really looking forward to um, cancelled because of the coronavirus, hope you can relate to this. <laughs> Bless me. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Friday. Um, like this video if you like this video. And I will see you next week. Bye.